I've been waiting for you guys. Yeah, you're you're not at the old building. Yeah, we haven't been there since May, Brett. I I knew that. <laughs> Hi, okay, so here we are in deep space. Thankfully I have air I can breathe. Destination Deep Space, presented by the Boeing Corporation, is upon us and we are trying to figure out what to do about this new game. We've got a nice little sandwich bag, I got some Turkish pistachios directly from Turkey, courtesy Barat Nan. Name? Nan. <laughs> Barat, everybody knows him as Barat. We have for you, a new dry base kit chassis, the AM1 for you 4, because it has a lot of changes from the 3. I, there's one around here somewhere. I don't know where it is. Here it is. Okay, so two major changes. The wheels have bigger ribs, and we kind of needed to do that from some breakages we saw last year. We talked about this this summer. Um, so that's new, the bigger ribs of the wheels. And you notice this flange is facing out instead of last year on the, on the three and previous designs, the bends were f facing in. So when you assemble this thing, make sure you get the flange pointing out. The whole point of that difference is to make it easier for teams to get the wheels and the spacers and the axles all lined up and assembled right. It's all there. The sheet metal is a little bit different because of those aspects so you can't just swap in and out AM1 for you three sheet metal inner plates or outer plates. These are new plates. Keep that in mind. Oh there's all kinds of information on the website. We've got we've got your CAD files. We've got links to assembly videos. I know our our video crew put up some really great assembly videos. Thanks, Brett. All that stuff is on the AM1 for You 4 webpage. And we also have just a ton of upgrade kits. So if you want to put pneumatic wheels on it, or if you want to make this an eight wheel drive, if you want to make it a mechanum drive, if you want to do all kinds of things to this thing, we have upgrade kits that you can convert your kit chassis to even bigger and better things if that's what floats your boat. Let's say you opted out and you got the Andy Mark PDV and you really like what you see here, so you're choosing to use the kit chassis, the AM1 for you 4, but you don't want to use these wheels. You can buy the frame only kit, and then you can add on pneumatic wheels, your traction wheels, performance wheels, mechanic wheels, whatever you want. So you don't have to buy the full kit and then not use some of the parts. As you know, we've got the Tough Box Mini, the tried and true bulletproof Tough Box Mini. It's the standard for the kit chassis. If you want to upgrade from there, you can go with an Evo gearbox. You can either go with the Evo shifter or an Evo slim. The shifters, we have set shifter ratios for upgrade packages. If you don't like, like those set shifter ratios, you can buy other shifters. They will also fit to the bolt pattern. We have some game elements. This year, first gave us two game elements to mess with. We've got the cargo, and we've got the cargo, which is essentially a kickball that we're supposed to inflate to 13 inches. I have heard it gets pretty tight as you inflate it, but I also think that maybe it just needs some time to, to flex, to be flexible. So be patient as you're inflating these things. And there's a bunch of these on the field. Now we have these at Andy Mark for sale. They're called Cargo. They go in to where Cargo goes on the field. We're going to be in and out of stock a little bit this week as we're getting multiple shipments of this. If you're worried about stock of this thing and then we're out of stock, do the email me when available thing as you do with any part that's out of stock on that Andy Mark webpage. Or just go to the webpage and you might see some updates on the top of the product description. We also have a hatch. This is not the official hatch. The official hatch is being sold by Vex. It looks a lot nicer, a lot more put together, better put together than this. But this is a version of a hatch. We're selling this plastic piece of polycarbonate and we're selling a five foot long, two inch wide loop tape that attaches to the polycarbonate. You can see this one was put on without any cuts or slices in the tape. And you can see there's, there's folds in there. So if you don't like that, Cut the tape as first as told us on there to this pattern approximately, and that'll get rid of the little folds. So this is available 
And those cargoes, I shouldn't point to that over there because they, they don't see that on the camera. If you have the ability to make this yourself, we're going to sell the loop tape by itself also. Come see us. We got, we got loop tape to add to your order for cargo and other things. Come on down to Andy Mark's Emporium of Hatching Things. Come on. <laughs> Four of us were online Saturday night reading the rules live, so you might get a kick out of myself, Kyle Hughes, Liz Califf, and Paul Copioli. If you're driving, if you're commuting, or whatever, and you want to listen to the rules instead of just reading the rules, we didn't go over all the robot rules and tournament rules, but the game rules were what we focused on. And so that is on, I think it's on SoundCloud, but you can go to our link that Brett's pointing to right there, and it'll be available for you to check out upon your need. I've got some lunch to eat, you guys got a robot to figure out how to play this game, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Have a good couple days. So what is today's lunch? He can't talk with his mouth full, or his mom will email him that he was talking with his mouth full. That's, that's happened. It's happened before.